Adding fractions requires a common denominator. We would prefer to use the lowest common denominator. And you can find that by listing the multiples of the two denominators you started with. Here we have a 4 and a 3, so I'm going to list their multiples. 4's multiples are 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, and it keeps going. 3's multiples are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and it keeps going. I simply look for the lowest number that's on both lists, and the one I see is 12. So 1 quarter plus 1 third has to be converted into two fractions that have 12 as the lowest common denominator. My 4 became a 12, so I have to expand this fraction. If 4 is turned into 12 by multiplying it by 3, then 1 has to also be multiplied by 3, and I have 3 twelfths. If 3 is converted into 12 by multiplying it by 4, then the 1 on top has to also be multiplied by 4, and I have 4 twelfths. Now I can add 3 twelfths plus 4 twelfths equals 7 twelfths. I have my answer. There is a possible shortcut. If you notice that 4 times 3 is 12, then you can see that multiplying the, the denominators of the fractions you started with gives you a common denominator. And in this case, it would happen to have given you the lowest common denominator. But it's not always going to be the lowest. Let's do some more examples. Here we have denominator 5 and denominator 7. I list their multiples 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, and it keeps going. For 7, I have 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, and it keeps going. The lowest number that's on both lists is the 35. So I convert both fractions into new fractions that have 35 as the denominator. 5 times 7 is 35, 2 times 7 is 14. This fraction expands to 14 over 35. 7 times 5 is 35, 3 times 5 is 15. This fraction expands to 15 over 35. 14 35ths plus 15 35ths is equal to 29 35ths, and I have my answer.